Hello everyone. Let's continue the chapter from where we have stopped in the previous session. So, when the anti-long nose party put out this statement, the opposing party made the other secretary issue a counter statement. Beloved countrymen, citizens, what she had said is a lie. She was trying to keep for herself the wealth and good name of comrade long nose one of her brothers is in the opposite party let me reveal the true colors of the members of the other party i am the faithful secretary of comrade long nose i know for a fact that the nose of the comrade is not made of rubber it is as real as my own heart beating inside me long live the members of the party supporting comrade long nose long live revolution so students now uh, when the other political parties which were against uh, the long nose uh, heroes party uh, when these uh, those parties uh, made one of his uh, one of uh, his secretaries declare that his long nose was false now this party which was in favor of the long nose hero what did it do this party now asked the other secretary of the long nosed hero to declare that the nose is real okay and this secretary declared that whatever the former secretary the first secretary had said was a lie she lied she was just trying to get all the wealth and fame of the long nosed hero one of her brothers is in the opposite party and that is why she gave that statement in their favor against the long nosed hero this second secretary students uh, she also said that she herself had been a faithful secretary of comrade long nose and the nose is not made of rubber it is real so that's what his second secretary declared okay now what was to be done there was confusion in the minds of the people the leaders of the party against the long nosed one began finding fault with the president and the government stupid government they gave the title of chief among the long nosed ones to the deceiver of the people they gave him a gold medal the president is also party to this fraud there is betrayal of national interest in all this the president must resign the ministry must resign the rubber nosed one must must be killed so now there were two options in the hands of the people okay as there were two statements declared by two secretaries one said uh, that his long nose was uh, is fake and another said that no it's real so uh, people got confused so taking the advantage of the situation the political parties uh, who made the first secretary declare that his nose is false those political parties who were against the uh, long nose hero they started protesting against the president and the government they said that the stupid president gave a medal to the one uh, who cheated on everyone he betrayed or cheated the people of the country they asked the president uh, to leave his office to resign from his post okay they also demanded the mistress uh, uh sorry they also de uh, demanded the ministers uh, to resign and they even demanded that uh, the long nosed hero must be killed The president reacted angrily one morning the army and their tanks surrounded the house of the poor long nosed one he was arrested and taken away So students because of all this the president got very angry and uh, one morning police came and arrested our long nosed hero Now see what kind of situations were rising around uh, this poor long nosed hero so how people uh, see like how how people never thought logically and how the parties the political parties tried to use him for their own benefits because of which he was suffering now and he was suffering without any of his fault
Now, there was no news of the long-nosed one for some time. The people forgot about his existence. Then came fresh news with the impact of a nuclear bomb. Do you know what happened? Just when the people f had forgotten everything, came a brief announcement from the president. The trial of the chief of the long-nosed ones will take place on March 9th. Expert doctors who come as representatives of 48 countries will examine him. All the newspapers of the world will be represented. The proceedings will be filmed. People must keep calm. So students, after the long-nosed uh, person, after the long-nosed man was arrested, gradually uh, people started forgetting about him. Okay, they uh, forgot about him because there was no news of him anymore. Okay, but just when people started forgetting everything, uh, a fresh news was declared at that very moment. The president made an announcement that the nose of the long-nosed man will be checked, will be examined on 9th of March. He also said that doctors from 48 countries will come and examine the nose. Moreover, the president also said that everything that will happen on that day uh, will be recorded. And uh, so, he asked the people to keep patience, okay? Now, people are people. They could not keep calm. They came in large numbers into the metropolis. They invaded the hotels. They burned public conveyances. They set fire to police stations. They destroyed government buildings. So now, the writer says that Though the president uh, asked the people to keep calm, to have patience, but the writer says that it is the nature of people. People cannot keep calm. They don't have patience, right? To wait for anything. They don't have patience. They, don't, they cannot keep calm. And that is why when they were again recalled of this long nose thing, this whole long nose drama, they again got angry. People got angry again, thinking that uh, the government along with the long-nosed men are again going to deceive them in some way or the other. People could not keep calm and they started destroying the hotels, then uh, uh, public transport, they set fire to the police stations, uh, they destroyed the government buildings as well. Now, the doctor surrounded the long-nosed one in the presence of the president and cabinet ministers. One doctor blocked the nostrils of the long-nosed one. He immediately opened his mouth wide. Another doctor took a needle and punctured the tip of the, his nose. To his amazement, a drop of blood appeared at the tip of the nose. And now, students, it was uh, finally the day of the examination of the long nose. That is 9th of March. So many people gathered. Many people came to witness the examination, to see the examination, to see what will happen. The loudspeakers were telling the people to be disciplined. And now the examination begins, students. Okay. All the doctors surrounded the long-nosed man for the examination the president and the ministers were also present there and uh, uh, and uh, and then uh, what one doctor did was that uh, one doctor blocked the nostrils of the uh, long nosed hero and when the doctor blocked his nostrils he could not breathe the long nosed hero could not breathe and so he opened his mouth wide to breathe. Okay. And then again, another doctor took a needle and pierced the tip of the long nose. And everyone was surprised to see that, okay, blood came out as the needle pierced his tip of nose. Okay. If, if, if that, that would be a, if that, that would have to be a, a a false nose a nose made of rubber then the blood would not have come out right but 
here uh, to their surprise to their amazement uh, everyone was surprised that blood came out of the uh, came out uh, from the tip of his nose when it was uh, when the tip of his nose was pierced through a needle by the doctor okay now the doctors gave their unanimous verdict the nose is genuine one of the female secretaries kissed the long nosed one on the tip of the nose long live comrade long nose long live the chief of the long nosed ones long live the progressive people's parties of the long uh, party of the long nosed one so students when they uh, when the doctor saw blood coming out and when they saw that the long nosed hero uh, could not breathe when the doctor blocked his nostrils then all the doctors agreed on one thing and gave uh, the judgment together they gave the conclusion that the long nose is genuine it was a real nose okay so hearing this good news what happened the faithful female secretary kissed the tip of the long nose out of joy okay and then everyone started to celebrate they started to shout out um, loud like long live comrade long nose long live the chief of the long nosed ones long live the progressive people's party of the long nose so in this way everyone shouted and celebrated in favor of uh, the long nosed hero and in favor of the political party uh, with which he was involved okay so now as this shouting and revelry ended the president thought of another gimmick he nominated the long nosed one as a member of parliament that was the end of it all but the parties of which the long nosed one was not a member formed a united front and began to say the ministry must resign so students as the celebration ended the president again thought of a trick okay he again planned something this cunning president he again thought of something okay and what did he do he made the long nosed hero the member of parliament so look how this president uh, like thinks of some trick to capture the long nosed hero again once again for his own benefits right but then um, but then also uh, the writer says that the other opposite parties against the party of the president uh, all those parties you know came together they formed a united front against the president and the long nosed heroes party and they kept protesting demanding that the ministry must resign must leave uh, its post now look at the way falsehood was being perpetuated would there not be confusion of thought what would the poor intellectuals do so students at the very end the writer wants us to see how falsehood has been continued by the president how it never ended and the writer leaves a question to all of us to all the readers he leaves a question that won't this falsehood create confusion of thought what would the uh, poor and the real intellectuals do then the long nosed hero was a fool he was not an intelligent man he could neither read neither read nor write but he had money right and he had a long nose that is why he could earn some money and that's how he became famous and he had that fame and that is why this this president who was a cunning person takes his advantage uses his name and uh, because of all this the real and intellectuals have to suffer the real intellectuals the real people who should be the leaders of uh, of the country uh, they suffer because of this kind of uh, people because of this falsehood in politics and everywhere and and everywhere uh, 
wherever we see today we see falsehood all around us right so that is why students the writer uh, satirizes today's world the writer satirizes the people of today's world the government of today's world he makes fun of all these things he makes fun of the people of today's world he makes fun of the government of today's world so as a whole the writer satirizes or he makes fun of the contemporary times of the contemporary society as a whole okay so this is the end of this story students if you have any doubt uh, in this chapter you please do ask uh, ask me over whatsapp and i will provide you with the question answers in the group okay thank you